Oh, yeah, did really well this week. Excellent. 2,302, top 3% for the round. That's just outstanding. Back in the top 10%. Oh, let's have a quick look. So one of my best round rankings ever too. Oh. Yeah, oh, I'll start with Ridley. Yeah, that's disappointing. I mean, imagine if he played and got around his averages at 120, that would be like another 2,000, up to 2,400. Oh, that would be, yeah, disappointing with this pick, uh, disappointing this round with this injury. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I might, keeping him, keeping him in for now. Hopefully, he's, if it's only one week, there's no point trading him out, to be honest. I mean, he is 600k, but, I mean, we'll see. He's the number one ranked super coach player, so I'm keeping him, I'm going to put him on the bench. Just hope these other defenders perform well. Um, Lair, a little tad disappointing. Expect a bit more from him this year, maybe 110, 120 average, but we'll see how we go. I mean, everyone's got him, so it's not really if he plays crap. You know, everyone's affected by it. Tom Stewart, excellent. Outstanding this week. Finally, you get a really good score from him. He's been a bit disappointing prior to that. You know, 152, excellent, considering Geelong playing North Melbourne. Yeah, CJ, you know, a bit disappointing, but, you know, could be a lot worse. Chapman, yeah, he's a rookie, so you're going to get money for him, but, you know, 54, you're hoping for at least 70 or 80 to just continue that extra money flow coming in. Kaziski, yeah, finally he did something somewhat decent, could have been better, it was 50, I think, around about half time, and only got 12. After that, as Hawthorne had got smashed in the last quarter, but hopefully he can at least get a minimum of 60 and just generate a few extra scores and just keep his spot in the team, which is really what we need at the moment after having two defenders getting injured. Clark, again, not being selected in the main team. It will cause headaches again. If a lot of donuts this week. Trade him out and bring him... Lockie Jones, by the looks of it. John might do that. We'll see how we go. He hasn't really been scoring that well either, so his break even is going to be relatively high for his price. Or higher than what you want it to be, so probably have to get rid of him. We'll see if he gets selected. Depending on Geelong, yeah, they play on Saturday, so. Yeah, Friday, come on. Shouldn't should be too much of a problem. And Heimel might come in back too after St Kilda's terrible performance. That was shocking. By far the worst side of the round this week. St Kilda, absolutely shocking. Terrible performance from them. Heimel hopefully should come in. He deserves to after St Kilda's just shit defending. Um, Played at Oliver. Disappointing after his um, half-time score. I thought he'd get to 130, 140. So 115, you would take it. But could have been a lot more considering Melbourne's domination. I guess you got other players chipping in, which is what you want. Great score considering it got belted. So, I mean, at least I got one player from Essendon right this week. I'll talk about the other in a mini. Decent score. Hey. Um, Brayshaw, better this week, finally. After two disappointing weeks after I picked him in. Yeah, Treno, average. I was hoping a little bit more from him, to be honest. A bit disappointing. Hoping he get bump up to his average to 100, which is what you're aiming for with him. Maybe 105 for that price, but has another. I think only one bad performance. And it's been fairly consistent, considering you know this other guy I'm about to talk about, Bolton. Yeah, I mean he's performed well the last two weeks. He's come back well, considering the crap performance. Ah, uh, one way out the other week, a couple of weeks before that. I so said, there you go with that. Golden, disappointing. Might have to trade him out this week. We'll see how we go. This might be the end of it for him. He's going to break even at 50. Not going to make too much more money unless he has a gun performance. I mean, it's possible they're playing Gold Coast. So it wouldn't surprise me if he goes above 80. To be honest, even 100. But again, he can dish out the 50s. And this is what we're going to get with rookies. Um, you just don't know with them. It's a roller coaster ride with them. 
So that he got good and performing well early, which is what you want with these rookies. You can get them money early on, it saves less headaches later on. Same with Power, performing well now. So what you want, 74 will take it. Money's going to start running out for him too. Jordan, bounce back, which is what you want. See, maybe my side for another week. McNeil, yeah. Surprised these two get a game, McNeil and Scott. Considering Bulldogs has been by far the best. Oh, not by far, but been the best side so far. I mean, and again, never really played anyone that good yet. So, yeah, they somehow keep their spot. 60 isn't the worst, but you're not making too much money from these rookies, and that's what you'll want. So, you have to keep in your side, unfortunately, which is awkward, because they're not getting dropped, but they're not... Before, yeah... Brockman didn't play. I don't know why I had him. It was an emergency. It was stupid of me. I should have picked one of these two. Anyway, lucky. Lucky to be first perform well. Well enough. Consistent. Well, and these two perform well. Considering Gorn, this outstanding great player. Best pick this year. Pick Gorn, really. Um, Grundy, same here. Not as consistent, but he's performed well after a shaky start. Flynn, well, he's not being selected, and because, you know, Mumford's is performing so, <laughs> so well, it's like he's back in his mid twenties. But yeah, we'll see. He might come back in soon. I really should play him and Mumford together. We're going to help out with GWS. Um, just, yeah, disappointing for owners um, who have him as, you know, as R two, but you know, keep him there because I reckon he can sort of generate more money. Um, unless one of these two get injured, you might have to do something. Jack, uh, Josh Junkley, excellent. Excellent decision of me trading him to our... That has been a dud, dud pick. I'll explain more about him in a minute. Martin, disappointing, which is expected for Martin. He's on and off, this this pick. Had a great first round, but after that, he hasn't performed his best. Considering St. Kilda got smashed, but you know it's what you want with your team. You want... Consistent players, everyone's playing well in your team. No clear standouts, and that's what it was with Richmond. Like I got Bolton, who was there, one of their better players. Which you know, um, Zebul, well, probably yeah, another excellent pick, one of the best money cash cow players this year by mile, not by a mile, but he will be up there for the full line of years. You can't ask for much more, better than expected. I, don't know, I mean, yeah, for a poor side, is this? Being their best player, fortunately won't get any votes, even though he probably deserves it for this score. Warner, disappointing. I mean, this is what you expect with rookies. You expect a disappointing week now and then. I mean, City didn't perform that well. I mean, this week, last two weeks haven't been as well compared to the other three weeks. So, you know, who knows? We might get rid of him this week. I might keep him. We'll see how we go. Four line might need a re ramp. Dan Her, this is why you keep him. He's going to, have to get those 100 scores now and then. Fortune was against my side, which is disappointing. But hey, for super coach, it's great. Keeping him for another week. Who did Brisbane play here? Yeah, Carlton is a chance he can get another 100. So we'll see. Keeping him, if he gets another 100, that'd be great to keep his price up, which is what you wanted. Waterman, again, excellent in terms of getting the money, but disappointing, I mean. I mean... 20, I was hoping to get 40 or 50. We should put Rao, Joe, Jason Rowe, which is what I had in for the majority of the week, which was just silly of me getting him out. But, you know, Rowe can dish out a crap score like he did. He got 5 1 rounds. So you just don't know with him. He got 100, he's got 5, he got. You know, it's all over the shot. You don't know what he's going to get. Would would be a bit more consistent, but since we're playing wet weather, you know, I don't know. You know, if you had a goal or two, it would be as big as a deal. But I mean, as we get with these new rookies, he's not a new... Um, Jones, again, this pick. We'll see. Gets a game because we've got no one out. Too many injuries. 